Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video I'm going to tell you about a new feature of event tickets called Tickets Commerce. Now if you've been using event tickets you may already be familiar with our current e-commerce solution called Tribe Commerce. Tickets Commerce is very similar to Tribe Commerce with a few key differences. One, it's much easier to set up. Two, it's more reliable. And three, it has a couple cool features that Tribe Commerce doesn't have. So I'm super excited to show you this. Let's check it out. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is make sure we have event tickets installed. Now you can download event tickets for free from the eventscalendar.com or simply search for it in the plugin section of your WordPress dashboard. Once event tickets is installed and activated, we can go over to events and click on settings. You might notice that there's a new tab here that wasn't there before called payments. Let's click on that. Make sure that tickets commerce is enabled and then we can come down here and click on this blue button to connect it to our PayPal account. We don't have to play around with any API settings or anything complex. All we have to do is log into our PayPal account and it will connect for us. Okay. Now you do need to have a business PayPal account. If your PayPal account is not a business account, it will tell you at this step that you need to convert it to a business account. It's completely free to convert it to a business account and it only takes a minute. It just asks you a few questions about your business right here in the same pop-up and then you'll be good to go. So very simple. Once we've done that, we can click this to go back to our website and we'll just give this a few seconds to update and we should see a green connected. Okay, here it is. Green connected check mark. Good to go. Now that our PayPal is connected, we can come on down here and take a look at some of our settings. You'll notice here it says checkout page and success page, and it says no page set. Now you will need to create a checkout page and a success page in order for this to work, and I'll walk you through that. It just takes a few seconds. You can fill in these settings as you desire. Confirmation email sender address. If you leave this blank, it will just use your default WordPress email address. You can change the name that the email address comes from. And you can change our little confirmation email subject right here. You have tickets. So as far as the checkout page and the success page go, these are very easy. You'll see here in the notes that you need to put a short code on each of those pages. So let's go ahead and copy this short code right here. I'm gonna come over here to pages, add new. I'm just gonna call this checkout. And in here, I'm going to add a short code block and paste in our short code, just like that. Now I'm going to go back into our settings, payments tab. And for the success page, I'm going to copy this short code. Now we can come to pages, add new. And we'll just call this success. And once again, add a short code block and paste in our short code. Okay, now that that's finished publishing, we can go back to our settings page. Events settings. And payments. All right, now we simply have to select checkout for the checkout page and success for the success page. Let's go ahead and click save. Okay, now that we've done that, let's go ahead and check out an event with a ticket and see how this whole process works. So you see we have a very simple event with a $1 ticket. I'm going to add a ticket click the button. Here we have a pretty standard attendee registration page. It shows us how many tickets we have. And I'll go ahead and click save and check out. And here you'll see we have our own checkout page. With Tribe Commerce, we used the PayPal model that popped up. With Tickets Commerce, we actually have our own checkout page. And you'll also notice that with Tickets Commerce, you can use a credit card. With Tribe Commerce, PayPal was the only option. Now your customers have the option to use PayPal or a credit card. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching.